who live near Lowell are speaking up tonight to ensure a quarry is not built in their backyards. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Pignate. And I'm Nate Custer. KWA's Katie Davila heard from homeowners tonight and spoke with someone who has experienced the hazards of living next to a working quarry. The residential meeting in Lowell was packed wall to wall as dozens gathered to talk about how they plan to make sure this project doesn't go through. I don't want a rock quarry in my backyard. We as community members, as neighbors, as citizens, as taxpayers, as property owners, don't want this to mar our landscape and to ruin some of the beauty that is Northwest Arkansas. This 135 acres is known as the Cross Hollow Mines. It's currently being operated as red dirt mines, but the Benton County Planning Board is looking at making it into a rock quarry. Nearby residents are concerned of the possibly hazardous construction and are now speaking out. Uh, twice a week, it's like having a small earth Earthquake, you feel it. The house shakes. Springdale resident Charles Hubner lives next to the Sharp Quarry and says he is an example of how it will change residents' quality of life. Cracked walls, um, I've had footing issues that I've had to have repaired. The truck traffic is considerable and it creates problems for us, not just being able to get around, but uh, it's destroyed our roads over and over. According to the U.S. Senate, property values adjacent to quarries decrease by 30 percent. If passed, the Benton County Planning Commission told those who live near the mine they will experience blasting of the area for an estimated 25 years. Those relying on wells are concerned the mining will take away the only source of water they have. There is no rural water available within about a two and a half mile area from all of us. Hubner says he encourages residents to fight against it. For these people here, they've got an opportunity to say, we don't want this quarry, and I sure hope that somebody listens to them because their lives are going to be severely impaired. I'm working with geologists and civil engineer experts to get the facts on how construction could affect community members as every property is different. I also reached out to the Benton County Planning Commission and I'm waiting on a statement. There will be another meeting next Wednesday to discuss the query. Stay with KNWA on updates. In studio, Katie Davila, KNWA Northwest Arkansas News.